Hi, I'm Jim Pugh and welcome to the Brothers of Gaming. I'm making this short video just to show you what the pre-order ship looks like and compared to the ship you get to start with. This is my ship. I've had this, I'm still in the first system as you can see here. Um, I've renamed it to Hartlepool's Hope, my hometown. And I've discovered two planets, Sarah's Seton, that's um, a place in Hartlepool, that's my girlfriend's name, and Headland's Tip, that's the two planets. This is the one I'm on at the moment. I've discovered loads of stuff. I'll just quickly show you um, one of the animals maybe. Let's have a look, there we go. I've renamed them as well and uploaded them. Dwarf Ewok, I've called him, because he looks like a Dwarf Ewok. He's pretty cool. Anyway, without further ado, let's have a quick look at my ship. There's my ship, the Razamama S36. That has served me well through the first solar system. Now, I'll just give you a little word of warning. Before you trade in your bonus content for your pre-order ship, what you need to do is make sure you've completed so far through the game where you've got this. Let me show you. As you can see, uh, the old Starship has 15 slots. You must have unlocked this hyperdrive before you claim your ship. I don't know if this still stands true, but it's, to me it's not worth the risk. But yeah, I've got this. If I wanted to, I could get one of those dynamic resonators off the market in this port. But what I'm going to do instead of making a hyperdrive for this ship is I'm going to see what this other ship is like. So there you go, your 15 slot starter ship, the Razamama S36. I will miss this ship, but uh, you just have all you have to do is press escape, go to options, uh, redeem bonus content. And there we go, Horizon Amiga ship. This is the pre-order ship, and you only get this if you bought the game before the, the launch date, if you took the risk like me. So I'm gonna do that now, see what happens. It's the first time I've done it, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's see. Okay, so there's an extra slot on this ship and it comes with all this stuff. Hmm, and it's already got a hyperdrive, that's good. I'm gonna compare it. So that's my current one, this is the one I'm gonna get. It says abandoned starship. Uh, but can I transfer so stuff across? See, hold X to transfer items between inventories. So I can't put them across. I can't put all this across, so that's all right. I'll, I'll do that. So This is what you've got to do so you don't lose your stuff that you've already got. I can dismantle that. Let's dismantle everything. Now, it's not letting me dismantle these, which is a shame. But it's let me dismantle everything else, so that's okay. So now I'm going to accept and see what happens. Okay, build a hyperdrive. It thinks I've done it, but I haven't actually done it yet. But I have got, just got to fuel it now. But where is my ship? Where the hell is my ship? I've just claimed my ship. I did say that I didn't know what was going to happen. I'm sure if I can build a bypass chip, I should be able to call it. Oh, another milestone accomplished. It's probably something to do with building the hyperdrive. Right, let's go in here and get my um, radiation back up. This, this could be an issue. How? Would, where is my ship? Oh, is that right there? There we go. So let's just radiation park over there. Just let my radiation levels go back up again. Or protection go back up and we'll go and have a check out of this ship. Cool. So this is my new ship. Can I name it though? I don't know. Let's go and see. Oh, it looks already looks a lot bigger. It can or not has S64. Hmm. I like the name of the other ship better, but I don't, I don't know if you can actually rename the ships. This is a shame. But there we go, Starship Inventory, look. I've got nothing to charge that with. I can charge that though. But I do need some plutonium to get to get that um, back up. It's a shame. I need a warp cell for that. Anyway, so there you go. That's how you get your, your ship. I, I, let's have a little fly around on it. Oh, I can't. Yes, I can. I'm talking rubbish. It does seem a lot faster than the old one, which is good. Okay, I've got different weapons. Oh yes, I have. Got a beam laser. It seems to overheat quite rapidly though. Can I shoot a tree? Cool, well. I'd like to just thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you did like this video. And I'll just try and land it, hopefully in the right place. Cool. Yes, please leave a like if you did like this video. Um, I will be doing a let's play of this um, from this point forward. Now I've got this ship. I probably will be trading this in for a better ship. I think the only advantage is you start off with the hyperdrive, but I have actually went through all the bits to make the hyperdrive, but yeah. Right, 
stay safe everyone look forward to episode one of the let's play of no man's sky starting off in the pre-order ship and if anyone knows how if you can rename your ships i don't think you can but let me know in the comments uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on the future content and stay safe and i'll see you later bye